My name is Mozamit Marwan Al Maktoum. I am first lieutenant pilot of the Dubai Police Air Wing. I'm also the first female to be joining the Dubai Police Air Wing. My name is Jawahar bint Khalifa Al Khalifa. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I am based in Dubai, originally from Bahrain and from an Emirati mother. My name is Fatma Al Jokar. I'm an Emirati young woman who is working as a legal advisor at Dubai Electricity and Water Authority. I'm also chairing the Women Committee in Diwa. I'm Jamie, Jamie Simpson, General Manager of Jumeirah Amina Asalam. My name is Reem Assad, and I'm the Vice President for Cisco Middle East and Africa, responsible for the business in our region. My name is Angela De Vincentis, and I'm a Senior Director of Fabrication Operation for McDermott. So my name is Latifa Lassin and I'm a Vice President in Engineering for uh, NG. Well, personally, I don't believe in challenges. I see everything as a learning opportunity and an opportunity to prove myself to myself. And if you face everything with a positive attitude, it's going to get you anywhere you want. My biggest challenge was to break the barriers at a very young age as an entrepreneur in a very male-dominated uh, field. One of the biggest challenges that I face is the diversity of opportunities. You need to grasp the right opportunity at the right time and endeavor that for your interest. Without a doubt, the biggest challenge I have faced through my entire career is re-entering the workforce after having each child. I look at challenges in our industry as, uh, I don't see it as opposing forces, but I see more as opportunities. Opportunities for us to, uh, to grow, to learn, be bold sometimes to change the status quo. But I think the foundational uh, need is to have self-confidence that you can do it today and have faith in what you can do in the future. I felt various times that uh, recognition and promotion uh, were driven uh, more about, uh, not about result, but cultural barrier um, had an impact. Uh, in a male-dominated work environment, uh, people uh, prefer to stay in their comfort zone. So the biggest challenge I faced in the industry uh, was to remain a woman in a man's world and to bring added value from what I am. I would tell a younger version of myself that everything you dream of is within reach if you work hard and believe in yourself and keep believing in yourself even when everyone around you doubts you. What I would say to a younger version of me is be patient, everything will be fine. I would tell my younger version to take every step and it's never too late to start anything new. I would tell my younger self to be knowledgeable of your self-worth, confident and aim high. Stay humble and have a curious mind and to continue learning. The day you stop learning, it means you're falling behind. You have a voice and whenever you sit on the table, let your voice be heard. You bring value to every conversation. So have faith and, and trust in yourself. Take some time to decide who you want to be and where you want to go. Uh, when you are ready, start your journey proudly. Uh, don't let anyone decide for you. And if you find a barrier on the journey, just fight them positively. I would tell the younger version of myself to not change and to go a bit more easy on, uh, on myself and to be a bit more diligent and to Understand that mistakes helps you to grow and to learn. My superpower, determination for sure. I keep going until I reach my goals and nothing can stop me once I make my mind up. My superpower is the agility. I mean, being a mother, a PhD student, a legal advisor needs a lot of multitasking. My superpower is resilience. My superpower and my mission statement is to see others succeed and in their success is my success. 
My superpower is resilience, never give up. So my superpower is to remain myself. So always on the move, trying to bring up positive change and to always think innovation and think outside of the box. My superpower is never giving up. Never. What, what is your superpower? superpower?